So, if you're having issues setting up rig a car for your car model, I'm here to help. However, for those who don't know rig a car, it's a free plugin for rigging car models in Blender. There's a better rig a car version I would recommend for you to download. It's called rig a car master fix. In a later video, I will show you why this version is better. First, you have to move your car above the point of origin. This is to get the tires stay on positive values. In 3D plane, above the zero origin is positive, while below it is negative. Here, the tires are now a bit above the x-axis. Another important thing to do is to make sure your car is facing in a y direction, as seen here. Let's now separate the tires from the car body. It's now time to freeze the rotation and scale transform of each component of the tires. After freezing the transforms, placing an empty on each tire is next. To place this empty on this tire, select the empty, and then select the rim of the tire. Hold Shift and press S. Choose Selection to Active. You can scale to reduce the empty if you wish. Then select the tire components and parent them to the empty by pressing Ctrl P. The empty will now act as a single tire. Duplicate this empty with Shift D and place it on another tire. Repeat until all tires are covered. Now it's time to move everything to a collection. Select everything and hit M. Create a new collection. This makes it easy to isolate the tires from the body. Use Alt-H to bring back the car body. Let's add another empty and parent the car body components to the empty. Please don't scale this empty at all. Now let's come to the final part, which is naming the empties according to Rigacar. Here we are naming the left front tire first. The first word should be the name of your model. Mine is Benz 1937 typed with no spacing. Then type the others exactly as you see here. going to the right front tire. Hit enter. Now to the back left tire, hit F2 to rename the empty. Then to the right back tire. Finally, to the body.
Now select all the empties. Press Shift A and go to Armature. Select Car to apply the bones. Finally, hit N and go to the Rigger Car panel to generate the rig. Now let's check if everything is working. Well, for the tires to rotate, you have to activate wheels on Y-axis. There you go. You're all done. And that is pretty much it. Follow us for more 3D videos like this. Until I come again, I remain Utrax.